I got it. <laughs> By the way, whatever you do, um, whatever you get away from this video is don't download TikTok. It's a bad idea. I've got so many TikTok songs stuck in my head and the endless scrolling I do on TikTok is just, it's not normal, <laughs> okay? So let's roll the intro. <laughs> everyone i'm monica and welcome back to my channel when reads where i talk about books and things and it feels so good to be back seriously i think that doing away with my microphone was probably one of the worst ideas in terms of quality but one of the best ideas in terms of actually getting videos out i've been filming like crazy and i feel so much better about the filming but we'll get into that in another video where i'm going to talk about my filming goals and such and such for 2021 but today i have a small book haul and I know, Monica, you just did a fucking big book haul. Listen, it's, it's, it's 2020 still. We're still going through the ringer, okay? And I wanted to show you these books because this is an all sci-fi book haul. I don't think, yeah, no, do I have, it's, it's kind of varied, it's kind of varied. We've got some Ursula K. Le Guin, but let's get into it. The first book that I got is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Now, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, the synopsis of this reminds me of that movie, The Island. <laughs> I'll insert the poster, The Island, but where um, two of the most gorgeous human beings to ever walk this earth, except yours truly. I'm sorry, I'm like really pumped up from <laughs> like watching body positivity um, TikToks. It's great. But anyway, Ewan McGregor and what's her face? Scarlett Johansson are in it. Well, the, the plot of this kind of sounds like that, that movie. Basically, there is this woman um, who Who's, what is her name? Kathy. Kathy's 31 and she's reminiscing about um, an idyll idyllic. Idyll is, that, is that how that's pronounced? Idyllic or is it idyllic? Guess who's going in the litter box? My cat. Yes. Are we back or are we back? <laughs> okay, so um, she's reminiscing about the Hales Sham. Hillsham school and you know the her friends that went there and apparently there's organ donation and stuff like that it really does sound like that movie <laughs> you know I think that that's the twist that in the end like they just got donated for organs but I don't know I haven't read it looking forward to reading it uh, by the way all of these books are part of um, that extremely long video that no one saw because it's so long and nonsensical which is the 105 books um 105 science fiction books you should read these were all on there so if the synopsis sounds familiar or if you sat through that video because you love me yeah um yeah that's that's why but um anyway this is the left hand of darkness by ursula kayla Wynn. i love how like i'll show you in the end but they all like look really pretty together um, this is basically a book about an alien race that has no gender like they have no gender like how do they reproduce? How can humans like also this just just so we're clear this let me see when this was written 1963 I believe and I think that the idea 1969 1969 so I think this idea of no gender and anything kind of like you know gets said like oh very it's very like new and it's very it's shut the fuck up no in 1969 we were already writing about it and way before that but anyway so it's about a race of aliens that basically has no gender and there is a human ambassador that goes there and he has to like deal with the fact that he doesn't understand these people and try to understand them and that's basically it to do so he must bridge the gulf between his own views and those of the strange intriguing culture he encounters embracing the aspects of psychology society and human emotion on an alien world the left hand of darkness stands as a landmark achievement in the an annals annals i don't know how to say this i really like the word for world is forest by ursula kilwin so i'm looking forward to this one the next book i have i'm really excited because i actually started reading this when it came well when i first bought it like definitely let me see when this came out I actually first started reading this when it first came out in 2009 and that is The Wind Up Girl by Paolo Basigal Basigalupi. I don't know where he's from. 
I'll look it up and I'll insert here where he's from. But anyway, this was the Hugo Award winner and Nebula Award winner. So you guys know that I really like, I tend to appreciate Hugo and Nebula Award winners. And I remember that I started reading this in 2009 when it came out because it came out in Spanish and I was reading it. And then I stopped halfway because I started getting into a reading slump. <laughs> and I never picked it up and I left my copy of it in Venezuela. So um, I am happy to have it again. I remember most of it. I think I'm just going to skim through the first half of it and then just read the rest. But I really want to know what happens. And actually, again, some of my writing is really influenced by this world in particular. And it's amazing it this world is basically climate change what happens when we don't take care of lower classes and also deals with um the mistreatment of robots and what is sentience and what we can learn from that you know wow this video is great aren't i back <laughs> not making any sense this last book you guys i saw it again on that like um 105 books uh, science fiction books that you must read and well after i filmed that video i really went online and i was like okay so these are the books that i want to read from this list so i'm gonna look for them and then all of these i found really discounted like their prices were really discounted and this was four fucking euros and when you see this cover is this the most beautiful book i own I think so. And guess who's by? Look, it's Jeff Vandermeer. It's Venice, um, sorry, Venus Underground. And you know, uh, this is just Jeff Vandermeer writing as Jeff Vandermeer <laughs> does, where he basically takes you on a fever dream. But the thing that I, that really drew me to this book is that this book is about love. And if you know, a lot of people know Jeff Vandermeer by his Southern Reach trilogy. And I feel that the Southern Reach trilogy reads like a very cold, very like, you know, distant sort of a story. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't read like you really get to know or get to love the people that are involved in it. Unlike Born, which is one of my favorite books of all time. If not, yeah, I know, I know. If you, if you saw my Did I Quit Booktube video, um, you know that has been dethroned for my favorite book but um yeah i i think that this will give me more of that jeff Vandermeer writing that i love where it's weird it's a fever dream crazy you know bio e e echo science fiction that's what it's called or so i've heard but it will also give me romance and love and characters that i want to hold on to because what happened in the southern reach trilogy is that i didn't really want to hold on to any of those characters because I didn't feel any connection to them. So I hope that this will give me that connection that I'm looking for. And honestly, I will be honest with you. Um, I have here the, the, why does Jeff Vandermeer have like the best covers ever, ever? Look at the Born cover, hang on. Is this, why is this suddenly turning into I love Jeff Vandermeer video? Look at that, look at, look at those covers. And the Southern Reach trilogy also, I'm just going to put it down here, I'm not going to put it back there. Um, the, Southern, the Southern Reach trilogy also has beautiful covers, but I'll be honest with you, I have the first book. And there are some, uh, there are covers. Oh my god, there's, ooh, Cities of Saints and Men. I'm going to, look, Jack Vandermeer is an auto buy for me, even though sometimes I don't want to read his books. Like for example, The Dead Astronauts. I I'm not sure I want to read the dead astronauts, but I'm gonna own it and I don't see I don't mind that I've, I've, I've come to a lot of realizations about my reading and about my book collecting lately Of course, it's gonna be another video which is going to be like more of a 2021 What I learned about myself in reading 2020 and stuff like that. So this video is pretty short I'm gonna keep it short for you <laughs> I'm so glad I'm back <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I'm filming this on the 22nd of December and you're not gonna see it until much later I don't know how much later but you're not gonna see it until later because I've been filming a lot I've been messing with my lights I've been messing with my setup and everything and basically I'm back fuckers you know I love that I just called you fuckers I love you all I appreciate you all if you're seeing this past whatever holiday you celebrate happy holidays and yeah I hope you enjoy this because you're going to get to see a lot more of this. I don't think you're ready. Bye!
Look at how beautiful it looks outside right now. I love fog. Look at how beautiful it looks outside right now. Yes, isn't this a great post-credit scene? 